Good morning, everybody. My bedroom is a mess. I need to sort this out. Today it is Friday. I feel like it's sat it feels like a Saturday today. Like I legit woke up thinking it was Saturday. It's not. I've just done a workout. I have my sunglasses on my head because I'm trying to will the sun to come out. This is not the day of sunshine that I was promised. Right, look at this. My weather app says blue skies. That ain't it. That is not it. Yeah, a bit sad about that, but hoping that the sun is gonna come out and I will be able to put on a cute little white dress and it'll be all good. Fingers crossed, but if not, then you're gonna see me staying in this gym outfit because basically, if it doesn't get sunny, I just stay in this. Like most of the days I don't vlog. I don't wear anything that's not like cycle shorts and a sports bra. Literally live in like one end of the scale or the other at the moment. There is no in between. So yeah, just gonna work out this morning. I need to do some cleaning. Like my bedding is behind me just looking a tip. Actually, the, this whole room looks a tip. And then I've got the living room to sort out as well. And I'm not even thinking about the amount of stuff that I need to start like packing for moving. And like, I still have so much on my to-do list, like switching drawers around and just getting everything ready for like where it's gonna go once I'm in the new place. I will talk to you a little bit about that in a, in a minute, in a hot second. And I'm gonna talk you through, someone asked me to talk through like how I found the experience of buying and the process, which is, I'm sure it's different for everyone, but I will talk you through that like a tiny bit and show you a sneak peek of the house. And I wanted to show you my mood boards as well. So we're just gonna have like a little house chat, life catch up, just like you're gonna come along with me for my Friday with all of my stuff that I wanted to do as well. So <laughs> first things first, I am gonna sort this bed out and just sort this bedroom out because it's making mess, makes me so unhappy in myself. What I really need is a clean flat and some sunshine. Do you hear me? Clouds? Can you hear me? Because it's I'm not happy. It's going to be sunny all weekend. Not that, not that I'm going anywhere, but I just like to see the blue sky, you know? pajamas here these are my favorite pajamas that i'm wearing at the moment so i've got this little pink set which i think is from asos i'll link it if it's still in stock but i feel like it went out of stock pretty quickly right at the beginning of lockdown had them for a little while and then i've got my skims bra my little gray white company socks i've got some sheets that i need to iron basically i washed a load of bed sheets so like fitted sheets and bed sheets last night so yeah i've got a lot of ironing to do i've just put a fresh sheet on under here like a what you call it like the fitted sheet so yeah it's all good step one complete i thought i'd quickly show you my outfit of the day i'm probably gonna pop some fake tan on in a bit and then maybe i just really want to be in my pajamas basically so it's a good excuse but yeah i thought i'd show you this before i maybe change out of it but i've got this sports top on i believe this was from asos a really long time ago but i'll see if i can find anything similar i've got my all saints hoodie on around my waist in case i get cold because i love wearing my all saints hoodie at the moment with my girlfriend cycle shorts so yeah that is my ootd for this morning's workout but also just whilst i'm cleaning the flat it's nice and easy I can give everyone in my life a little bit more of my attention today because I really struggle when the flat needs cleaning like the bathroom still needs doing and that will bug me but I'm gonna park that until later after I've showered yeah I need to make some lunch and I've got some they're there I've got a stack of like books I need to flick through in terms of like flooring and things like that so that is like something that is very high up on my to-do list at the moment so yeah I'm gonna sit down have a little look at that have some lunch the gardener my god, he really likes to show up here when I have stuff to do. This used to be a 7.30 in the morning kind of ordeal, so I'm not gonna moan, because that was horrible. But yeah, gonna lunch, look at flooring, watch some Kardashians, because I think there's a new episode today. And then I need to get on with my to-do list, because it's so long. I feel like I am like Stretch Armstrong. Do you remember that weird little toy from like the 80s? Being pulled in like a million different directions as well, because my to-do list is like possibly the longest it's ever been. I'm gonna miss not being a homeowner and playing Sims all weekend, aren't I? I can feel it already.
been a little while. God, I'm so terrible at vlogging. More and more these days I find myself doing that and I'm like, just, you're just filming your boobs, hun. You are just filming your boobs. Wow, I've had a very productive afternoon though. I'm very happy. I've managed to get my internet switched over or like started the process of getting my internet switched over, which is great because I really felt like because I'm actually moving sooner than I have been with rentals usually or I've always kind of had a month in between at the very least. I don't know why it's happened, but I've always ended up having like minimum a month in between properties once I actually had two months. No, it was two months before I moved and then I was paying rent for like another three months after. That was mad. Normally my internet switchovers have been pretty safe because I've had so much time to plan and get everything organized. And I have in this instance in terms of knowing that I was probably gonna be moving, but not in terms of actually being able to start amending things. So until you've actually got the keys and like the property sale had actually gone through, I didn't feel like I could just ring up my internet provider and be like, hey, I might be moving. Like that's a bit weird. I was a bit concerned that I might have left it a bit late and I might be at the new place without internet for like quite a while. I'm not, it's gonna be like, which I'm so happy about. I could have actually had same day, but because of certain timings, I was like, that's not gonna work out. But yeah, I'm gonna have internet at the new house, which is great because even though Lauren and I are still working together, I like to do the uploads because I'm a control freak. So yeah, I'm just really happy that actually with the way it times out, I'm gonna be able to like continue doing that, which is amazing. So super happy about that. And it was really easy because you don't have to call people as much anymore. <laughs> Love that. But yeah, got that done. Super, super happy about that. Also just been looking flooring brochures which is the bane of my life much more exciting than that is the uh, neptune catalogue and uh, also outdoor spaces so things i've learned so far is the flooring is cheaper than i budgeted for so far and landscaping your garden is a good way to waste like a lot of money very very quickly so yeah i have some decisions to make about that and i'm not enjoying it but before my battery runs out because i need to go and replace that because it's like flashing at me up there i thought i'd show you a little sneak peek of the new house i've like filmed it all the last time i was there and yeah i just thought i'd show you a little sneak peek of it and yeah i'll probably show you more footage as we go on over the next couple of weeks yeah i'm really excited Hope you enjoyed seeing that it's worth noting i think now because i don't think i said in my last vlog i'm trying to rack my brains but i don't think i said it the property is actually vacant so in terms of which i'm guessing most of you will have assumed i don't know but yeah the property hasn't actually been lived in since i think maybe a year so i obviously haven't owned it for a year but yeah no one has been in it for a really 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 long time so i feel like that's quite an important factor in all of this and that's basically why the sale kind of went ahead why we're able to actually move right now because our government allows us to move if the property is vacant i believe i'm not sure what ex what it is exactly but basically my situation where the property is vacant is super easy to move like it's just like yeah clean go ahead i'm not sure about non-vacant properties but yeah basically we were able to move because of that and that is fantastic because otherwise i don't know if this really would have gone ahead i really don't know what would have happened if that hadn't been the case but weirdly all of the properties that i viewed were vacant so i feel like this was always going to happen that's why it might look a little bit empty from the very small sneak peek i showed you some of you i feel like are very very eagle-eyed so uh, yeah i thought i'd talk about that and it does mean we'll be moving sooner rather than later because we are actually obviously able to move but yeah we need to go over and clean it at some point and do all of those kind of like little bits so yeah that is on my to-do list i hope you enjoyed seeing a little sneak peek of the house and i might show you more like as we go along but i am going to be making changes to it so i'm just basically going to be putting like my own stamp on it and then further down the line there is room for me to do some bigger projects to it but it kind of depends on just how i end up feeling in like a year or so's time whether i want to do that that kind of thing but it's a great property with such great potential it has been worked on before because basically it used to have like no heating it was it was mad so yeah that's all been done already which is amazing it does mean that obviously it costed me more to buy and I, it stretched me more in terms of my budget that is a little bit about the house i can't remember if there was anything else i wanted to tell you like there was stuff i wanted to mention in the last vlog and i just end up forgetting but yeah it is great it's very different to where i live at the moment so when we were there last there was like a horse outside the house and we we're in the garden and these two like siamese cats just like pop up out of nowhere and like it was just like the weirdest most magical thing because obviously i don't see animals where i live at the moment <laughs> obviously being in a flat it's kind of hard to see animals every so often we see a squirrel and we're like oh my god hey do you want to come in and then you remember that squirrels aren't 
friendly like that. But yeah, so that's my little bit about the house. And in terms of the buying process, because someone asked to hear about that because they were basically going to start doing the same thing. It was really strange because I feel like some people say it's like the most stressful experience of their life. And there were some bits that were stressful and I don't know if some people also like the, the moving process is stressful and especially if you're like on a chain and like exchanging and completing is really difficult I didn't have that in my case because the property was vacant so it's a really odd one I didn't have any of that stress and then in terms of like the beginning bits of it the most confusing bit honestly for me was filling out the forms because I'm just not very good at form filling it makes me feel like I'm taking a test and then I get like exam stressed and I just start feeling really stupid and I get really overwhelmed by it so that was really difficult and just in terms of obviously when I speak to people about buying I speak to people about buying and normally they're couples and I did find like what I was able to get for my money seemed to feel a bit different and I don't know if it's because people just don't like talking about money so they don't give you the full lowdown on it so therefore your expectations aren't quite right but I was quite surprised by the mortgage offerings based on the chunk of money that you put forward basically I put an amount down and then even if I went above that it wouldn't change like what I was being offered wouldn't change it was very very odd that kind of surprised me I guess just some people might be watching this like well duh obviously because blah 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 but I've never done that before and even the last time my parents bought a house was so so long ago so yeah in terms of getting the mortgage it wasn't so much stressful but I did speak to two different mortgage advisors in the end I spoke to one person and I was just a bit not sure and then I went and spoke to somebody else just to see if I get anything slightly better and I actually did and I was happier with the results that I got I think because I was doing it as a business owner and then as a solo human being it was just it was just it was a lot and there were basically a few different options on the type of like ways you could get a mortgage like the different sets of paperwork that you could work off of basically it's really difficult for me to talk about because I'm trying not to talk about my personal finances because I know it's fine for me to talk to most of you about my personal finances but some of you are creepy so <laughs> so without going too deep into it there were a few ways that we could kind of like get a lender to lend and one of them was kind of like ideal for what I was looking at and I could have like stretched myself a tiny bit more but it would have meant then saving to if I wanted to make changes or buy anything for the house it basically would have meant having to be very very patient and I'm actually glad given the current circumstances that I didn't do that and I didn't stretch myself and then have to wait and that I still had a little bit kind of kept back I'm really really happy that I did that but yeah so getting a mortgage was not stressful but a little bit weird but I had been saving for a really really long time I think I started talking about doing this in 2016 and it never happened because the situation was very very different then and you know being in a relationship and doing things as two was altering things and basically it just ended up stalling and stalling and stalling and then 2018 happened and my life went a little bit this way that was like quite a financially tricky year in terms of like I was just paying for this house that I was renting and it was just extortionate so extortionate and then I moved here saved up so yeah I've been saving and kind of working towards this for a very very long time and I, d I kind of wasn't in a any rush so I was just kind of saving and saving and I wasn't really I think some people that I speak to stress about it because they're trying to save because they really really want a mortgage and that in trying to save is stressful whereas I was kind of just naturally saving because I just get a bit scared about money if I'm honest so I always kind of try and sack away even like now in the current economy I'm still like really I'm very very nervy about finances yeah I should have bought back in like 2016 and I would have been in a very different position as well to now because basically if you're in a PAYE job basically a job where you don't have to sort out your own tax if you're in the UK things are very very different to if you're self-employed or a business owner and you have to kind of like think about taxes basically so tax is kind of like alter and they'll either go off one or off three or there's lots of different options so that was in itself was just a learning curve and I'm really happy that I did it because it made me think made me even more nervy of my finances <laughs> but I think that's a good thing so yeah that was like the mortgage obtaining process and then you have to get a solicitor that was quite stressful because I feel like with the house buying industry you're just like kept in the dark for a lot of the experience and you have to like chase a lot I find and most people I've spoken to have said the same and it's kind of like you're chasing and you're like has this come back yet and there's lots of searches and my searches took ages and there was a tiny bit of land like I don't understand what happened with that bit of land but there's a tiny bit of land and it caused so many issues for so long and I really should have been in that house by now but it caused so many issues I actually thought this 
this house sale was never going to happen because of this tiny bit of land and that basically delayed it for months months so yeah i just kind of had to take a back seat through that it was really boring and then i waited and waited and waited and waited and waited and then one day my solicitor came along and she was like right so it's all good to go uh the property's vacant so you can move in and i was like but but we're we're in lockdown. Cue Susie's dressing. Normally you'd have an exchange date and a completion date, but mine was a bit different because we can't do any of that in person, obviously. So there was lots of like posting things and me trying to get things to fit in my tiny post box and nothing was fitting and just me like stressing it again. I say this whole process wasn't, wasn't stressful, but I actually think I was quite stressed looking back. I'm still stressed now, to be honest. Doing this in lockdown just makes it a little bit weird like really weird like there's stuff that I'd love to have help with and have my parents come help with and I can't do that and yeah just little bits where it's like I would just love to pop here and grab this because it would help me do this I can't do any of that so it's just it is a little bit weird but at the same time it's made me reprioritize what I'm doing with the house so I actually have like a garden mood board at the moment because I'm gonna switch my wardrobe room budget and garden around potentially I'm looking at costs at the moment because gardens are possibly more expensive than a walk-in wardrobe so yeah I'm switching budgets around but luckily I did have that kind of I sat down quite a while back and kind of roughly twigged that out I've also just found out something needs replacing so that is going to basically come out of a different budget as well it basically feels like I'm now an accountant <laughs> yeah just me looking at a lot of spreadsheets my original flooring budget was ridiculous because i knew that i was going to be picky over it and i'm still going to be picky over it but i am trying to not waste money because i do think that this is probably not a forever property so that is what i'm also trying to keep in mind i'm trying to be really like honest and open with you here without just giving too much away so hopefully this isn't boring or just like too vague for you guys but it's a bit weird because you haven't seen the property and i also feel like it's weird to talk about my future plans in a video i don't know why i guess just if it doesn't happen like i'm even scared to show you my mood boards for the house because if that the rooms don't end up looking like it i'm gonna be really pissed off so yeah i do need to go through and make like more concise mood boards because obviously the photography on pinterest is beautiful and expectations versus reality is like real but i think i'm gonna show you a little bit of my bedroom mood board just because i think that'll probably be one the easiest thing for me to start because i think my bedroom will be a long on running project basically what i do i've started doing is doing different variants of the mood board so like this is what i'm going to do immediately and this, this is what i'm going to do like a month or so in and this is what i'm going to do like a year or so later so yeah basically there's just i can update things as i go but still get the overall vibe i want kind of like straight away and i've been trying to think about the structure of the house like what it has already and what i can work with rather than having to like rebuild anything install like do lots of like molding or anything and furniture that I have already as well which is quite important with the bedroom. So this is kind of the start of my bedroom mood board and this is my starting point just here because it's going to be very very easy for me to start working with that. So yeah that is kind of what I am looking for with this. So basically the bed I already have, bedding is fine, I would like a little ottoman and then a chandelier and then kind of pick bedside tables and wardrobes you know chest of drawer units as i think is appropriate but this is kind of my starting base but most importantly with that and with the living room which is going to be i'm not going to show you mood boards yet because i'm really excited to kind of do that further down the line and do just kind of like a room transformation basically i'm going to vlog everything but like keep some footage back for like set videos i think the living room is going to be kind of like a bit inspired by abitha but not completely so you'll see hopefully further down the line that that makes sense so i'm just basically trying to make it so that i can live in this house and it not like date straight away because i feel like when i've furnished homes before it's definitely happened so that is my goal basically my goal is just not to waste a lot of money so fingers crossed because i think it's really easy to do when you're like doing this for the first time so my starting point for both the living room and the bedroom are walls and floors so i need to start like choosing flooring and just get that show on the road so i have some samples on the way and I, when i get to kind of like sort those out i will vlog for you i'm so so excited to do that but yeah that is today's little house chat i'm gonna go find ryan i actually spent some time with him today because i have not seen him for most of the day we're having fake barbecue food tonight hello hello that beard is a lot oh i need to shave your head tonight don't i yeah Woo! i've been trying to learn to fade ryan's hair it'll be fine i always get really nervous but yeah that is my afternoon update we're gonna make fake barbecue food and pretend we're sitting out in the sun even though our balcony gets no sun right now and i'm gonna carry on playing ariana grande and justin bieber stuck with you 
at Ryan over and over and over just to yeah. remind him that he is, in fact, stuck with me. Veggie barbecue. Vegan if you're Ryan, not vegan if you're Sue's. Also, Ryan just judged me hard for putting butter on my hot dog. I blame my family, we put butter on everything. Good morning, everybody. Today is Saturday. I am a little sleepy eyed. I don't know why, because I've been up for a very long time. I have spent the morning, it's been like absolute bliss. I've been sunbathing on the balcony. I've literally been lying on the floor, like on the floorboards, because we don't get like a ton of sun so i've literally just like to soak up any sun i've just been lying on the floorboards on the balcony but it's been so nice and i've just been chilling and flicking through like magazines and stuff and it's been really really nice ryan is now making pancakes and i do need to make this quick so that i can go and help him but yeah just wanted to explain because that is why i'm in my bikini which i'm gonna need to be very careful about because my boobs do not like to stay at this one so yeah that's been my morning i've had a shower i still need to wash my hair but i'm just kind of like leaving it i'm not seeing anyone at the moment so i'm just kind of like letting my hair do its thing a little bit more than i kind of normally would so leaving it a couple of extra days it feels really good so yeah i've done that i've put some tan on i've done my midweek tan and i'm just really really obsessed with the tan lux hyaluronic serum i'll show you that in a second it is so good literally the best tan for my hands i think i've ever used so yeah i've popped a tiny bit of makeup on like tiny tiny bit my face is covered in spf so it's just looking very very shiny but i'm so happy because these spots are finally clearing up it's taken so long and i literally am at that point where i'm like if you guys can just clear up and i can just keep like sticking to my diet at the moment and being really really good i think i might end up with cleared skin and i'm just so excited about it very happy about that there's no concealer on this just a little bit of tinted moisturizer the laura mercy one so yeah that has been my morning i also wanted to quickly mention whilst i remembered because i was talking about the house buying process yesterday and i realized i didn't say anything about the actual like i talked about the process at the start and then the kind of after you got the house but I didn't talk about the actual house itself so I just quickly wanted to mention I've talked about the kind of three I think it's the three properties that I viewed in the last vlog but basically my house is a very very easy one like I said in the other vlog there was no like bidding war or anything I was the first person in which fortunately because of my job I can kind of take time out of my day to just go and view places so I tend to get in quite quickly which I'm very very grateful for and very happy about because it just made my life so much easier my house in particular just didn't have a bidding war over it I was very very early in and I kind of had a day or so to think over things and put my offer in because the next people weren't in like for viewing it for a day or so so i had a little bit of time to think it over and then it kind of made an offer first off we were rejected and then i just offered more in terms of budget like a really small amount more it's like in the grand scheme of things just not worth arguing over and for the condition that it's in i was just like this is fine i'm so happy with that and it was still far less than other properties i've been looking at that would have needed to actually be renoed so yeah it just kind of made sense and i was just like not picky over it i know lots of people like hardball and stuff like that's just not my not my area of expertise so yeah that's pretty much it i just thought i'd mention that because i feel like i left that out or people will be expecting me to talk about some kind of negotiations and there wasn't really any at all i just kind of made an offer and it was very close to what they wanted anyway so yeah we just had a conversation and that was pretty much it so yeah i hope that has been useful for you if you have any questions like you can put them in the comments i'm obviously not an expert and i don't think i've done everything perfectly by any means so don't take what i do as like what you should do because i think it's just different for everyone and every property and every financial situation and stuff like that so you can pop them below and if i can answer then i will but yeah don't be surprised if i'm just like i'm not an expert and i don't actually know because that is how i feel with a lot of things in this current situation i just really don't know but yeah i'm going to help chef ryan make the pancakes i'm having vegan pancakes this morning which is why he's making them because I'm not a pro. So this is our mixture. It's resting for five minutes. Ryan, what's in it? Flour, almond milk, vanilla extract, baking soda. Very nice. Well done, Chef Ryan. Yeah, that is about it today. It's really, really sunny, but we've reached the point of the day where we don't get sun on our balcony anymore. So a little bit sad about that. But I did just use this. So even though I'm not getting any sun on my balcony, at least my skin is going to look nice and fresh. So this is the Tan Lux Super Glow Body Hyaluronic Self Tan Serum. It is so good. 
so good. I'm really loving using it at the moment. I put a little bit on last night before I went to bed. This is my body with kind of like one layer of it on. I've just popped some more on after my shower just so I look extra bronzy by the end of the day. And I love this one because it just makes my hands. I feel like the camera always tweaks it a little bit and makes them look more like shadowy, but it just makes my hands look like they're the most naturally tanned ever. I love it. So yeah, super, super happy with that. I apply it with this little brush here i literally squirt one tiny pump onto the middle of my hand and then like brush it all over and it just works so nicely i'm really really happy with it because for some reason my fake tan just doesn't really take to my hands and it just takes really really well with this product so i'd highly recommend this especially if you're not a big fan of fake tan but you want something that actually packs like a little bit of a punch the only thing i would say is that I find it's best not to be sparing with this, which is so funny because I feel like normally that's the best way to go with most products and the safest way to kind of tackle things. But I find if I am sparing, I might get like the occasional like patch or streak. But the past few times I've applied it, I've literally just like put a really generous amount on, not too much, but like generous and let it soak in. And I literally have like zero patches, zero streaks. I'm so happy with it. So yeah, this is what it's looking like. My boobs are just trying to escape this bikini. I've actually had so many people ask me recently in the comments if I've had a boob job or what is going on with them because they are just obviously noticeably bigger. To just be very honest with you guys, I changed my pill last, when was it? Last summer and immediately my body changed just like specifically here and everywhere else just kind of stayed which was fine and I like it I actually like it it makes me like feel a little bit more like balanced because before I kind of felt a bit pear-shaped after I dropped a fair bit of weight so this is kind of this is this is all right with me but it does mean that like I just am having the funniest time with any kind of sports bra bikini top at the moment and everyone comments on it and I'm just like uh, God, this makes me want to die because I just feel really awkward talking about contraceptive pills on YouTube. So that is why I haven't mentioned it. I feel like so many people have asked if I've had a boob job and I was just like, no, and I'm not, not talking about it because like I've had one. I just find contraceptive stuff on YouTube so awkward because I know you're all from different parts of the world and it's just a really tricky subject. So I just get really awkward about it. But I feel like I just need to address it because they're just out in this video. I'm so sorry. I should have put clothes on. I know, I know. On that note, I do need to decide what I'm going to wear today. I'm feeling so bored of clothing at the moment. Is anyone else feeling that way? Like, I felt really re-inspired really when I first had my wardrobe kind of back in action. And now I just feel a little bit like I do just want to be in bikinis all the time. And it's just really not always hot enough in the UK for that, so. The decision struggle is real. I might go for like a shirt and shorts a bit like yesterday. Maybe this blue one. So I do really love this. So maybe something like that. Because I'm just not feeling super like floral and girly today, I don't think. Mm, I'm gonna have to think about it. Maybe a midi skirt will get some action. We'll see. I do need to get new shorts though, because all my shorts are just so big right now. But yeah, it might be like a shorts and hoodie kind of day, just like a chill vibe. Outfit of the day. I have clothes on now, which Ryan does not. We can literally only just see you. Yeah, I've gone for this pretty little thing, jumper, which I've had for nearly two years now, and I just absolutely love it. You know when you find one of those absolute high street gems this is this is one of them i love it so much and it's perfect like summer knit as well as a winter knit because it's quite thin i don't know if you can see yeah you can see my bikini through it a little bit but yellow and then i've got my white shorts which i believe are from boohoo i got gifted these when i went to la and <laughs> i ran out of clothes yeah because i was there for 17 days and apparently did not have 17 days worth of clothes so they very kindly gifted them to me when i went over to their studio so yeah these have been actually a really lovely pair in my wardrobe these are my favorite white pair of shorts i like the fact that they're longer at the back and shorter at the front so it's just very flattering i think and then i've got my dual sunglasses which are currently on my head slicking my hair back because i can't be bothered to do it so i'm going for that like slick back vibe which it's just cope for greasy hair at this point in lockdown really isn't it but i like it because it just hides my uh, shorter broken bits and then just leaves my hair looking quite long, which actually is like ridiculously long at the moment. Ooh. Getting there. This is good. That looks yummy. Oh, I'm so excited. Ooh. Oh, I have not told you guys what I did this morning. Hi, I'll just come down two seconds. Oh, be right back. I'm actually out of breath. Oh. 
I'm so excited. So I feel like most of you won't know, but I have a real, real obsession. I'm out of breath by the way, because I just ran up the stairs. I have a real obsession with mint chocolate chip ice cream. <laughs> like it's ridiculous. And I love going to Marks and Spencer's because they do the best like in-store, really green, like mint chocolate chip ice cream. And I know so many people out there are gonna be like, mint chocolate chip ice cream is not meant to be green and blah, blah, blah. I don't care. There is a place in Brighton, which some of you may have heard of, or you might have been there if you've been to Brighton because it's quite well known. It's called Morocco's. They do the best mint chocolate chip ice cream. It's better than the Marks and Spencer's one, of which I currently have two tubs of it in my freezer because look, down essential in my opinion for when I'm sad because <laughs> it's my happy food anyway Morocco's the best one look at how green it is I'm not even I don't color correct my videos guys so whatever you're seeing is the real deal and this is green this is green oh my god it smells so good it smells so good I wish there was smell of vision it's so fresh it's better than the M&S mint chocolate chip ice cream and that is hard to beat because it is gorgeous this is amazing so basically i found out that i was just thinking about them the other day i can't remember why i think we were on a walk and i was like god i'd give anything for an ice cream right now and googled they're open and doing deliveries on just eat and i was like yes so the guy just knocked at the door he left it on the reception counter for me oh my goodness these look so good babe so good mm. i'm having a real food day this vlog up before no well, actually I have something to show you first but I'm gonna wrap this vlog up before I have to take some antihistamines and I get really drowsy so yeah I have such bad hay fever today like it is a nightmare me and both my brother have actually like woken up today just like not okay and we don't normally get it our mum normally gets it but I think also Lauren as well said that she's woken up today with hay fever and not, none of us ever get that so basically it just sounds like the pollen count is just like ridiculously high at the moment and it is killing me like I, my eyes have just, just been streaming and like so sore and I just now feel really like it makes you feel like you're actually sick but you're not so I'm just gonna take my makeup off and just like lounge on the sofa this evening but I had a really lovely delivery earlier from Aspinall and they sent me a couple of really lovely little bits so I thought I'd show you guys Look how gorgeous these are. So they've sent me the Aspinall of London makeup bags with SB engraved on it, which is so lovely. And they've also sent me a little mini one as well. And I just love it. I love it so much. They've actually done some really lovely giveaways recently for key workers. So I think what I'm going to do is, obviously I will keep this one because it's got my initials on it, but I might give this one away either to a key worker I know or on Instagram I haven't decided yet I was talking to my cousin the other day and she works at Royal Sussex County in Brighton and she's just having a really hard time at the moment so I'm quite tempted to give it to her but I should definitely organize some giveaways at some point as well but yeah thank you so much to Aspinall because that's just like a really lovely little gift that's really brightened my day so sweet of them this is just like my ideal like makeup bag color and finish as well they know me so well literally how sweet are they oh these are my pajamas of the day this is from asos this is also from asos i'll make sure everything is linked in the info box i'm gonna take off my makeup snuggle up we're gonna get a curry yeah yeah but yeah i'm gonna leave this vlog here i think because I feel like I've just chatted forever and I feel really bad for Lauren because I am giving this footage to her quite late as well. So yeah, I'm going to love you and leave you and I'll see you guys again very soon. Bye.